Hello and welcome. Uh, before I show the screen, uh, nah, nah, never mind. I'll show the screen. All right, I am playing a game called um, Booty Call, I think. So after I completed another game called Mimic Search, I've decided to play all the games from Alex X. Alex X, who is also known for making the tape. And so far, this is not what I expected, huh? Alright, well, there is a warning. This game contains strong sexual content and strong language. Maybe this will be my first video that will get age-restricted. Who knows? Let's do this. Ah, oh, this is probably hard for you to read, isn't it? Why does why the narration like that? What is this? Am I? <laughs> you wake up alone in a large bed with the sound of ringtone on your phone. Yes, the sound of ringtone. Popular song. Just love it. It appears there is a new message waiting for you to open it. As you slide your stiff body to the bedside table. You notice your bladder is beyond full. Threatening to burst, you reach your mobile phone. What? If that was me, I would go straight to the bathroom. No thank you. There is a provocative picture of a woman in her lingerie. With, a, with an attached note. I want... Oh, I'm not saying that. <laughs> can't wait. Can't wait for another night. Hmm. I feel like I should add in the, the context that Liam is a character that's having an affair, by the way. Hmm. But what do I do? Hmm. Unless... Hmm. Let's try to go to non-sexual. Hmm. Yeah, I can do it today. You find yourself on your big balcony that is stationed at the top floor of the building where your suit is located. Suddenly you feel your bladder practically begging you to empty it out. Ew! Go to the bathroom instead, bruh. You relieve yourself in the toilet. Now wash your hands, you dirt. What? Inside the living room, on a the table, there's a note that starts with, From Roof. Read your wife's note. <clears throat> Liam, we haven't talked to each other much for a long time. I don't like the distance that has formed between us. Tonight, I will be making dinner, so be sure to come home early. I have something important to talk to you. Oh, great, I said I wouldn't do that one thing tonight. This is fantastic. As you leave the note, you proceed to the garage to get the car and go to work. While driving your black luxury car, you turn the radio on. Turn the volume up. That's not to say I'm turning the radio on, is it now? At the start of the new week, we are met with new stock market crashes. More and more companies are going bankrupt. Ah, yes, my favorite. Copyright music. <laughs> At least I think it is. I don't know. That joke's always fun for me to say. Yeah, this is the only way to advance. You head for your office room. While walking to it, you can't help yourself not to pity your lower-ranked colleagues that work in box offices that resemble beehives. <sighs> in the middle of your work, your lover-ranked colleague comes in the office. My lover-ranked colleague? What? He gives you report papers. 
Lover ranked cult. What the fuck does that mean? You realize that the paper is not stored correctly. How did this idiot manage to mess this up? You idiot! How did you manage to mess this up? I'm sorry. It won't happen again. It better not happen. Timmy closes the door. You are left alone in your office, still annoyed by the incompetence of your younger colleague. Irritated, you continue working until the evening hours. After work, you head to the cafe near your workplace. While you are getting near, you notice a, the bitter smell of coffee beans getting stronger and stronger. After a couple of minutes of walking, you find yourself in front of a vintage wooden door as a sign hanged on it that says workers needed and why would I need to go inside oh it's a cafe right you sit down the table yes I sit down the table near the window let me sit the table down near the window everyone let's do this you sit down the table near the window where you can be by yourself without people around you without anyone in your near vicinity you pull out your phone and start looking at that sweet ass, but suddenly a waiter interrupts you. <clears throat> what can I... I don't know if it's a female or male, so I'm just gonna go with this voice. What can I get you? D. After ordering the drink, you start fantasizing about how you want to fuck that girl like there's no tomorrow. After a few minutes have passed, waiter comes with your drink, but stumbles and ends up spilling it on you. I'm not gonna say that, it's very excessive. Oh! I'm not your god, what is wrong with you, waiter? I didn't create you! Well, not Liam, anyways, since it's supposed to be- Liam's not your creator, what is wrong with you? I'm so sorry! It's okay. Please be more careful next time. Your pants got stained, but the waiter gets you a new drink. After finishing it, you step outside and go to your car that you have left at the parking lot area of the building where you work at. What the fuck is this? Behind the steering wheel, you are met with a choice. Do you want to head back home or have a... What the f... Ew! I feel like I know what th that is. No! I should really head back. Your wife has waited you. Yes, she waited me to come back home. As he entered his suit, you smell the dinner that Ruth had made. She guides you to the table, and you both sit down. Her face seems cold to you. You can't tell if it is a face of no emotion, or off of that, tries to hide them with all her might. And as she breaks the silence, You are late. <sighs> I was at a cafe. I'm sorry. I only had a drink. Oh, really? Perfect! You could have told me. If so, now we wouldn't be eating cold dinner. Oh, never mind. I forgot. Never mind. Look, we have to talk about our marriage. I mean, what is left of it. I know about it. You don't have to hide it. I'm not even mad about it anymore. How could I be? But we don't even make love anymore. Not just that. We barely even talk to each other. How long did you know, and what are you talking about? For a month now. If you include other girl, you can s For a month now. If you include the other girl, you can say for about a month and a half. Oh, shit. <sighs> Sorry. Are you? I don't know. I'm a degenerate. <laughs> Listen, I don't want to bullshit you. I made this dinner for respect and a relationship that we once had. This is a fixing relationship, right? It better be.
I want to fix it. Can you? I think I can. <gasps> then tell me how. I'll call a girl now and tell her we are done. Then you're the only woman I'd be begging. Next time I will be cooking dinner for us. Okay. Let's try again. Thank you. You woke up tomorrow with a call from your colleague. He told you the market has crashed and that the company has gone bankrupt. All the workers lost their jobs. Lucky for you, your wife has agreed to help you out financially until you find a new job. Ending one out of three. The good ending. Now here's the real question. Do I really want to figure out what the other endings are? Do I? Do I? No. I'm just gonna have this as my only ending for this. If y'all wanna play our innings, go ahead. Not gonna stop you. I already told you who created the game. Yada yada. Bye and have a fun time.